G'day guys, this is just a quick little update of what's been going on lately. Um, nothing much really to show, just a bit of work around the house um, and just how things have been progressing. So, yeah, not really a boat video, a little bit of boat in there, but not a lot. Anyway, um, yeah, it's good to be back, kind of. Alright, cheers. I've been waiting for this day. Okay, so I'm very happy to have this off finally. This is where I slept for six weeks. I couldn't get into bed. Um, I'm now at week eight or nine. Um, and I've just moved back into bed, so I'm pretty happy because I've kind of had enough of this. Um, this was how I slept, with that brace on and um, I was up every two hours getting painkillers. So where am I at? All right, well, I just went and picked up the crankshaft for the air compressor today. Um, that's, I won't be able to do anything for that for a little bit. Um, we're just juggling some money around at the moment and we need to sort of show the bank that we're doing some stuff. So, um, yeah, I won't get into that. So, um, yeah, you guys don't need to know about my finances. Um, yeah, so, Basically, I've got the crankshaft ready to go, so as soon as I get the rest of the parts, so it's around another $1,700 for um, the parts for that to finish it off, um, and then I can I can put it all back together. Uh, what else have I done? Well, I've really tidied this place up. Um, I've just spent every day in here. Um, just doing little bits and pieces, I'll kind of show you. Um, it's not much to see, it's just, you know, like I've put all those, there's just heaps of bolts that were just laying around the house. So they're all kind of in boxes now. Um, all washers, nuts. Um, yeah, so basically we've even got a car back in the garage, so that's really good. All the tools nice and tidy up there on the, on the shelves, um, yeah. So it's um, how a workshop kind of should be. Uh, I can even more or less get to the table saw now. It's got a few things on it from a little job that I've been doing on the um, little ute that I bought there. Um, I had another ute and it had a few problems with it, and um, so I sold that one and then went and bought this one. Um, this one's. 2017 low kilometres. Yeah, Cheryl and I'll be doing a bit of travelling in that as well. So we've um, uh, we're looking at getting a tent topper for it, and I want to build a canopy for the back of it, more so for the tools and welders and things like that. So yeah, I'm in high spirits at the moment. I wasn't a little while ago. I was, I was pretty down in the dump, so I didn't move off the land for a few days. Um, the it, this if you're going to get a shoulder reconstructed. Make sure you've got your friends around you that can come and visit you and um, get out of the house for Christ's sake, um, especially for an active person. So through the week I'll start to move around a little bit more. Um, sitting on the trailer outside, I've got those channels that I'm putting together for the um, rails for the engine in the, in the boat, so I want to start to assemble them. So just down there, that's the sump off the air compressor. So I want to take that round to my mate's place and go and do some aluminium welding on it because it has a hole in the sump. Um, just where the conrod hit it, it's knocked it out and it's got a big crack in, down the side of it. So I just want to tap it in and put a bit of weld on it and um, just tick it up. A few more little jobs I want to do around the place to that little ute. Um, it's got a second battery system in it and it's had a few bits of wiring in there for a radio and... Um, reversing camera and when they wired it in they wired it in hard so well, I shouldn't say hard but what they did they wired it in so that it was on all the time and I kept coming out to a flat battery and couldn't understand why so I've gone and disconnected everything and made sure that it can go through the key so when you pull the key out everything turns off now I just picked up one of the cables that had power on it while the accessories were turned on for that so that means as soon as I take the key out it's all done and dusted um, 
I've got to finish mounting the battery in correctly because the battery they had in there, the um, the bolts weren't long enough to cover uh, to put the clamp on, so the battery kind of wobbles around in the in the auxiliary battery box that they're put in. Um, but yeah, just little things. So I'll get on to them. All right, well I've made it back to the boat. Not much has changed since I left. The grass is a bit longer, but generally it's um, everything still looks the same. A little bit of shit was sort of laying around it that I didn't leave here, but um, at least I left it in a good state. So. Yeah, pretty happy about that. All right, well, I'm just going to go up inside and just have a look and see how things look in there. Um, hopefully it's not too bad. I can still see mill scale on that piece of plate, so that's, um, that's extremely good. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to spend a bit of time. I'll come up here sort of week on week off type thing just for a little while and just do a bit of welding just to close all this up. I can't do any any heavy lifting for quite some time um, but I can at least get this all welded together and um, all closed up so it yeah, might be time to invest in a, a bit of the MIG wire to get it finished. I'll need to do a bit of work there to get that out of there because that'll just harbour um, that'll just harbour moisture in there. A few spiders. Yeah, very happy with how this has held up for eight, nine weeks nearly. So, extremely good. Beautiful. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, don't know where I'm headed at the moment. We're just sort of kicking along, getting a few things done around the house, and um, yeah, slowly just getting the strength built back up in that shoulder. So yeah, hopefully we'll be back to it soon. Um, yeah, I've got a little bit of welding that I can do, so that'll keep things moving anyway. Alright, until next time, cheers.